Chase Oli Hockey here, Blue Futon, College Football, Odds, Week 6, Week 5 was abysmal. Mountain West screwed me over, actually I just screwed myself over, sometimes I suck. Isn't it funny how Vegas, you could do so good, then all of a sudden, you're trashed? Well, congratulations, that's Vegas for you. I was on a winning record last week. This week, last week, last week, week five, I went three and 12. I'm now 25 and 30. That's a losing record. No bueno in baseball. That is trash. The only three I like was Clemson, Michigan beating Iowa, and then Kansas. Kansas is the one I got right. Kansas train. Apparently, that's all I could do now. So, anyway, let's go back and see how it did. I mean, most of the games that I predicted won, won the game. That's too easy. You got to figure out the spread. And the spread is where I failed miserably. But anyway, let's talk about some Mountain West football. Let's go to it, ladies and gents. So, Mountain West football, we have CSU and Nevada. Nevada is favored by three and a half. CSU is trash. I'm going with Nevada covering, winning by four. Nevada, do it. Then we have. San Jose and UNLV. San Jose is favored by seven. They destroyed last week. I thought it was going to be closer. No. So maybe San Jose is better than I thought. So that's why I'm going to go with San Jose this time. I'm going with San Jose at least to tie it. You know, tie it by a touchdown or win by eight. All right, now we're going to Saturday. Wyo in New Mexico. Wyo got destroyed by San Jose. I don't know how Air Force screws up with Wyo every single time it doesn't I don't it baffles but New Mexico is the underdog by three and a half I think I'm gonna go with Wild with this one I think Wild will at least win by four we have Air Force and Utah State I'm gonna go with Air Force to win by 10 Air Force is a better team than Utah State by at least 10 in this person's opinion we have Fresno and Boise State Boise State decided to do good on the Smurf turf it seems like every time on the Smurf, Smurf turf they do good so Boise will win by at least seven and a half. And the last one, San Diego and Hawaii. San Diego is favored by 20. Oh, Hawaii doesn't have to go far. California, San Diego isn't the greatest. Hawaii isn't the greatest either one and four. Screw it. Let's go with Hawaii. I'm feeling the rainbow colors today. All right. I think that is it for Mountain West football. So now let's do the top 25. All right. Top 25. What good games I'm just going to go down the line. I'll tell you yes or no. That's all I'm going to do. Michigan, Indiana, not touching. Kansas is now officially ranked. Kansas is now ranked. TCU is also ranked because they destroyed Oklahoma. There's no way Oklahoma is even ranked anymore. I'm Now I have to go check the rankings, the new rankings. Who's out? Oh, LSU is now in. LSU is now ranked. Oklahoma, out. Washington State. I'm surprised they are not ranked yet. Expect them to... Baylor, out. Arkansas, out. Holy cow, this is bonkers. This is, this is bonkers. The people that are in the top 25 now that weren't in it is now TCU went from 37 to 17. UCLA went to 35 to 18. Kansas went from 26 to 19. Syracuse went from 30 to 22. And Cincinnati went from 27 to 24. And LSU went from 35 to 25. That is the most I've ever seen teams hop into that. But now Alabama and Georgia has now switched because Georgia almost lost to Missouri. What happened there? But the top 10 has almost stayed the same from here on out. Okay, Kentucky dropped. Uh, but my goodness, this is bonkers. The 17 through 25 has changed drastically. So fun to watch. So fun to watch. But anyway, we have TCU, Kansas. Kansas is the underdog by seven. TCU destroyed, destroyed Oklahoma. But I'm on the Kansas train. We're going Kansas to not lose by seven. Oh, yeah, Kansas, Kansas, Kansas. All right, then we have Tennessee and LSU. LSU is only the underdog by three. Tennessee, you got to take Tennessee to at least win by three on that one. I am disappointed that Arkansas and Mississippi State, Arkansas dropped hard, but they did not play well at all. 
But I am going to bet on this one. I think Arkansas will at least do better than losing by eight or to Arkansas for that one. UCF Cincinnati, not touching. Auburn, Georgia, not touching. TTU, Oklahoma State, Oklahoma State. Take Oklahoma State to at least win by 10 in that one, my opinion. Utah, UCLA. Utah is favored by 4.5. I fucking hate UCLA. We're going to go with Utah. I cannot stand, stand, stand UCLA. All right, then we have Ohio State and Michigan State. Ooh, Michigan State is not good this year at all. But Ohio State is favored by 25.5. Screw it. We're going to go with Michigan State. That is probably the one where if I win, sure. But nah, not even touching it. Ole Miss Van, don't care about. ASU Washington, don't care about. Boston College Clemson, don't care about. Gamecocks, Kentucky. I mean, that's a favorable 10 and a half. Uh, I guess you could go with, will the Gamecocks keep it in? Hmm. Now we're going Kentucky. Kentucky will at least win by 11. Army Wake Forest, not going to touch. Kansas State, Iowa State. Iowa State is the underdog by only two points. Oof. I'm taking Kansas State to at least win by two. That that seems a little bit too easy. Then we have BYU and Notre Dame. Notre Dame is favored by three and a half. What? These BYU-Notre Dame lines are so damn confusing. They're confusing. But most, are, most people are taking Notre Dame for the spread but BYU for the money line I mean you gotta go fighting Irish right we'll we'll go with fighting Irish that one I mean I would go with it but I would never put money on that one so that one doesn't count Washington State USC USC is favored by 13 I'm sorry Washington State's a solid team they're not gonna lose by more than 13 they're not serious dot Florida State North Carolina State Florida State is playing pretty solid this year. But I'm going to go with NC State with this one. Then we have Texas A&M and Alabama. That's going to be the last one I discuss. Then Oregon, Arizona. I don't really know a lot about that one. A&M, Alabama. Texas A&M isn't ranked anymore. Alabama is in Alabama. They are going to be freaking pissed. I was expecting Texas A&M to actually show some fight. But I think 24, that's three touchdowns and a field goal. Will Alabama do more than that? I mean, they destroyed Arkansas. What was that score? Arkansas lost by 23. And the spread is 24. Whew. I still think I'm going with Alabama. You're in Alabama. This is going to be a rivalry game. I think Texas A&M just doesn't have it in them. And they're going to get demolished by Bama. Did I am I gonna do better in week six? I don't know. I just hope so. Cheese talk with the blue food tone, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what things blue tone topia. You blue tones, thank you for watching my fantastic week. Thank you all. Peace and love, peace and love. I love every single one of you.